What's going on guys, it's Jeezy, welcome to my channel, so Heliquary Gauntlet 6, I'm sure you guys must be thinking that the last time when the Gauntlet 3 came out, it was stupidly hard, especially the final 3 bosses, I think it was Yamna, Sardan and one before that was Hulul, if I am not mi mistaken, with his puppet tears and attack so it was really hard here you guys can clearly see when we started the first part itself has a 353 million health so i would say the first boss here is to just test the damage output of a team if we cannot defeat the first boss within a minute then I would highly suggest to bring someone who could deal a lot of damage because the first boss is just a damage tester and then the second boss would test you for some other stuff as well. Here in this team we were mostly under 3500 resonance there was two players I think Valkyria who was around 6000 resonance and then titanium who was around 4300 and the rest of us were below 3500 i myself is 3200 resonance player and as you can see we defeated the first boss within one minute three seconds however it should be even faster in my opinion if you guys want to finish gauntlet 3 really smooth and fast our damage is all right i mean but it was not the best we if we had like more damage dealer or i'm not sure but we all of us did really well played really well as a team there so the second boss here was to test us with our ability to avoid attacks with the same amount of boss health so this was another test for the Gauntlet 6, making us sure that we can actually dodge all the attacks, stay alive while still maintaining our attacks. So as you guys can see, these are the first two checks that you guys need to make sure. If you are good at these two things, then yeah, you can move on to the third boss, which is going to be even harder. But we here did quite all right not the best not the worst either in my opinion so the second boss was done already and we were done with two bosses within two mid and ten second and it went quite smoothly for the third boss here uh we, none of us actually tried to trigger the boss here we wanted to make sure that we could land as much damage to the boss before it could go into the next phase so all of us just went in and it has around 442 million health as well but its attacks are even faster and quad control is even deadlier so another way to test player ability to learn the attacks from the boss and still can stay alive however i would suggest if you guys are going to attempt it you need two necromancer one on each side and also there is a skill for the necro for the wall that could actually block the projectiles coming from the boss you would actually need that for the final for the second last boss which is isia because of her spike attacks and that spike attack has a really huge hit box you wouldn't know what hit you and in my opinion that is one of the most hardest boss but here as you can see al Sauli, it was not much of an issue for us because we played this boss many many times in Gauntlet 5 and knew all the patterns and the attacks of this boss so 
it was quite a chill for us and we did it quite all right so so far three minutes into the gauntlet not much of an issue appeared for us so doing it fine and yes you can actually do this with the party of around 3500 or 4000 resonance player no issue however the bills of each player should be optimized and you have to make sure that every player is bringing something to the table either support damage or some kind of giving you guys revival if it is going to get carried then their job should be to stay alive avoid all attacks and when someone who is a damage dealer goes down make sure that that player is available there to bring you back to life so you can keep your self revival safe for the second last boss or the final boss itself here we were almost close to the final i mean the second boss second last boss itself but this phase is actually really deadly i would highly suggest to focus on just one clone so we can clear out some breathing space for us this way the chances of someone dying is a lot lesser so spreading out dealing damage to all the clones won't be a good approach so just focus on one clone and then when it's divided into two take down those two it will give you guys the breathing space however we had a good damage here so we didn't focus that much but we did well, we tried our best and also we actually did it without voice uh, without us on the discord for the voice call none of us were on the voice call we just did it because i mean we just did it without the uh, voice communication because we were confident enough that our knowledge about the bosses is enough to know what we need to do so Al Shaoli is almost down and I think I have not died so far which was a good thing and honestly it gave me some confidence as well that being a 3200 resonance player I am doing alright and I think we had two yeah necromancer on our side and me and my friend Risha and Jack and Agadia we did really well as well on the other side team two did really well so so far it was all right and now let's move on to the next boss and this boss is a real deal not because it's deadly just because its hit box for the spike attack is so huge that you wouldn't know what just hit you and you can just die with one hit and you wouldn't know what happen and the second thing is mind control it's just op me being a demon hunter without i mean it's hard to survive without the necromancer bone shield and also if you have beneficial duration on yourself then if a necromancer is going to give you the bone armor shield then it can last longer for you so that is actually good and here you will see me dying so many times that I felt like and this is why I'm speeding it forward so I don't kill you guys with boredom because it was just really bad guys I constantly died with the spike attacks because their skill box was just too huge then the mind control was getting me there as well it has 41 million health when you get into the mind control and it's not possible for a single player to take down that mind control alone by yourself and there are always three players who is getting mind control so yeah this is stupid in my opinion this boss and with 828 million health this was where things turned dire for us we didn't know what was just happening and 
we just wanted to give our all and i was worried that i might end up using all my rest the way it was going and the boss was down to 238 million hp so not so bad but yeah i felt like a really shitty sh that i was in a really bad situation and things were not going well also i have the pet that is savior and it actually saved me like two or three times in this boss fight and also i see i actually got in large <laughs> and we still got her but that was insane not again g6 is not friendly to carry anyone in my opinion if you guys are thinking unless like there is six player who have the highest dps but anyways we took down Isia as well and i was down to my last two self res if i am not mistaken so we did it and at this point we had some conversation so that's why i just skipped the video slightly because we lost one of our highest reso player with the 6000 resonance so we were down one man and we still decided to continue and see how far we can actually go so this boss here has 1.49 billion hp so yeah get ready to be shocked but the mechanic of this boss is not so difficult to understand you can easily avoid most of its attacks and if you have necromancer just like i said which you do need then you can survive most of its attack as well so the first phase of this boss is not so hard you just need to stand between the boxes where you will see the attack is coming and make sure that you are close to your necromancer to have the bone shield all the same so the surprise attack cannot kill you here my savior actually saved me once because i lost my bone armor and i was not close to necromancer then i kept a really close eye to stick with the necromancer area so i don't die unnecessary unless something happened to me surprisingly so already down we took down like 600 million hp and uh, it felt like all right if we go through the first phase of this boss then we might have the chance but the hardest part for this boss is the final one where you have to destroy the flowers so this here you actually need bone armor or else you might die so your necromancer really need to time the attack uh, time the bone armor on the right time to keep you alive and just like i said before if you have beneficial duration on you then your bone armor can last almost 20 seconds which is also a good thing it would help ease the stress from your necromancer friend as well knowing that yeah you have the beneficial duration and it can last longer for you so that is good as well so the boss is down to his final phase almost and the situation was getting dire by the second <laughs> i can say because this was our second try with the gauntlet six and yeah we were almost close to the final phase and completing it and we didn't want it to spend our entire day and i switched richard back to our team because i didn't realize before that we were less one player and i bring her to our team so she can have two necromancer so that she can survive and we have a better chance at not 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 anyone dying and the other side only had one player left alive or two which is nikki g and Oh, Nikki G is actually on the ground. This was Sakili who was Necromancer herself. So I was hoping that Sakili could survive by herself. But as you can see, Sakili is on the ground. But we will actually bring him back. And here, this is the flower phase. You have to destroy the flowers. Or 
else the boss is going to go inside the shield face and you won't be able to deal any damage and then again the boss is going to trigger the flower face so if you don't if you can't i mean destroy the flower within time then she won't come out of her shield so that is really important for the final phase the first three flowers are around like 120 million health or 90 million this was doable it wasn't so hard even with our team down and Sakili so just came back it helped us as well so we were down to like five plays or yeah we were down to like five plays at this point so situation was really stressing us out and we wanted to give our best me and my friend Risha we were the highest damage dealer and we still had our necromancer alive so we had hope that it would go well for us as long as they are the support team and the attack team is surviving so here i actually focus on this flower while these uh while the other guys focus on the other one and not sure what just happened but there is a curse maybe from the necromancer who can actually take the boss out of the face of flower i'm mean, not sure what just happened but we were not able to take down the flowers i mean all of them but still she came out of her flower face so i'm not sure what happened but this was not me and at this point i was like come on come on come on she's almost down yeah i am doing a voiceover on this video later on because i really didn't want it to talk and play at the same time because it was already really stressful experience playing with not any real player in the party but anyways we did it so it is too label if the players have the right builds and good damage output so yeah we did it hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys